What's going on, YouTube? Find it's your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. I got a special one for y'all tonight. We're gonna be talking about the Baltimore Club Queen K Swift. Let's get right into it. K Swift, who was born Kaya Danielle Egerton on October 19th, 1978, in Baltimore, Maryland. Her parents were Joseph and Juanita Eagleton. K Swift was raised in Randallstown, Maryland. She was a graduate of Randallstown High School in 1996. She went on to intern at 92Q in Baltimore after a short stint at Catonsville Community College. She was 18 when she began at 92Q and worked her way up in the station until she earned a co-hosting position in 1998. She co-hosted Off The Hook Radio with her co-host Squirrel Wide. It was the number one radio show in all of Baltimore. Along with hosting and DJing at all the popular clubs in Baltimore, she threw her own parties. K-Swift owned and operated Club Queen Entertainment. Club Queen Entertainment was a roster of well-known and elite party and DJs and hosts, which had a hold on the scene and still maintains its place in the prominent parties in Baltimore and the surrounding areas. K-Swift also began a graphics company and a next-level management company. She maintained a record pool and sold her mixtapes online. K-Swift released her dish through Baltimore-based company, Unruly Records, as well as Next Level. Her albums were so popular and had a very large following in the Baltimore area. She also mainstream artists like Soldier Boy and Farrell Gamo. On Sunday, July 20th, 2008, just the day after she performed at Baltimore's Artscape, an annual festival held in the Mount Royal neighborhood of Baltimore. In July, she hosted a pool party at her house. During the early morning hours of Monday, July 21st, K. Swift reportedly jumped into an above-ground pool. According to police reports, there were about seven people in the pool. When she did not resurface, she was pulled out and placed on a adjoining metal frame deck. K. Swift was later transported to Good Samaritan Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Thousands of fans attended her funeral, which was held at the prestigious Morgan State University. K. Swift death was mem memorialized in Baltimore. Rapper Tate Cobain's bank rolls in the verse, I swear the city ain't been the same since we lost K. Swift. She'll live forever to the city she was God's gift. To honor the memory of the late club queen in 2009, 92Q Jam selected 30 contestants to compete for a grand prize of a scholarship to the Sheffield Institute for the Recording Arts and an internship at 92Q. The contest was documented on YouTube under I Want to Intern for 92Q. k Swift catalog include the Jump Ball Volume 1 through 14, k Swift Strictly for the Kids Part 1, the Club Queen Series Volumes 1 through 6. She was named the Baltimore City Paper Bets Club DJ in 2001, 2004, 2005, 2006. Rest in peace, k Swift. Man, we all know, if you're from Baltimore City, about K. Swift. She was really the club queen. Like, I don't know for y'all that don't know, for all my subscribers that's not from the city, if y'all go on YouTube and look up Baltimore club music, it's like a mix of songs that we throw our own style to. Like, back in the day, one of my favorite ones, they redid Michael Jackson, you feel me? The Shad a Beat thing, you feel me? Like Shad a Beat, y'all know the song I'm talking about. But like we throw our own twist to it. Like DC got their own kind of music, you feel me? And Baltimore, we got our own kind of music. And K Swift and Squirrel Wide and people like that, they pioneers in that game. Like she was a young woman and she came out as a DJ and she turned up like she did what she had to do for the city. She was very popular. Everybody loved this girl. She was gone way too soon. I'm not sure exactly what happened at the pool party. They just say she went to dive in and she never resurfaced. And people say, you know, that's how she lost her life. I don't know if she hit her head. I don't know if she drowned. I mean, sources say she had sickle cell, so she was kind of sick. You see what I'm saying? But it was definitely a big blow to the city. A lot of people was hurt. A lot of people was lost after that. And people say the city wasn't the same. You feel me? Because... Radio is big in Baltimore, like 92Q, like if you in the house on a Friday night 
you chilling with some females, you chilling with your homeboys, and they like cut on some club music, everybody dance, everybody turn up. You know, it's just one of them things, like how different states got their things that they do to have fun. Like the radio in Baltimore was just big. And she was a big part of that, you know. And then not even that, she got outside the city. Like she was known nationwide. Like a lot of people know K Swift, you feel me? Like, so her legacy still go on. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about her, which is sad, you know, because at the end of the day, she wrote the blueprint for a lot of DJs, especially in Baltimore, you know. And this was a woman, this was a young lady. You feel me? I'm gonna say that again because she let it known that it could be cool for women to be DJs, you feel me? So young women growing up, they could DJ, they could do what they want to do, you feel me? They ain't got to just dance or be strippers or nothing like that. If you want to be a DJ, you want to be a rapper, whatever. I mean, it's official now. Like, it's a lot of women out here that understand that. But back when she was doing it, it wasn't really a lot of women DJing, you know? I think she even was on MTV. I forgot what show she hosted. But she was putting the city on. You know, and she grew up in Randallstown, Maryland. That's a suburb, like, right outside of Baltimore. It's, like, West Baltimore suburb, you know. And, um, yeah, man, it's just sad because at the end of the day, man, she was great, you feel me? And she used to have the radio lit. And I can only imagine what she would have been doing now for the city and stuff like that. She had built her brand up. Like I said, she outsold Soldier Boy and people like that back when they was hot, like, when they was blazing. And she did that. By putting her mixtapes out in the city and putting them out online. And people was rocking with it, you know. And she was getting that bag. She was getting to it. And she was showing love to a lot of people. She put a lot of DJs in position. She put a lot of people in position, you know. She wasn't selfish with it. And, you know, a lot of people was hurt about this young lady leaving, you know. And it's just sad, man. Like, I wish she was still here. You know, my prayers go out to her family. She was a great young lady from what I heard. I did a lot of research on her. You know, I talked to a few people. And um, actually, when I was reading the story, I don't know if he going to listen to this video. But when I was talking about when they hosted the contest with the contestants, the 30 contestants, my cousin was actually in that. His name Brandon Springfield. He was in that contest, and I think he made, like, number five. You know, when I was doing my research on the story, I sent his name. And he had just reached out to me on Instagram. I meant to ask him about that. Maybe I can get an interview with him and he could tell me what that was all about, man. But yeah, this young lady definitely had the heat for the city, you know. She put on for club music. She put on for young women. If y'all ain't checked out the music, y'all go check out her music. Because I feel like when people leave this earth or they not around no more, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Don't nobody talk about k Swift. Don't nobody talk about people that's not here no more, but they legacy still live on. Like, it ain't nothing to go find her CD, listen to it, stuff like that. I'm guilty of that myself because you get so caught up in the wave. It's so many new artists coming out, new people coming out, new DJs coming out that you forget about the people that made the way. And sometimes you just got to go back. And since we've been on quarantine, I've been listening to a lot of old music. I've been going back listening to a lot of pop. I've been listening to Lil Scooter. I've been listening to a lot of music of people that ain't here no more because not only to pay homage, but that's just my vibes right now. You know, I like nostalgia. I like putting myself back in time to a place where it was happy and I ain't have no worries and I ain't have no bills and stuff like that. It feel good to just zone out and listen to music from back in the day when life was just sweet. I ain't saying life ain't sweet right now, but it's a lot going on in the world. You got people DJing online, like people can't go nowhere. Like my daughter's birthday had passed and I felt bad because I really couldn't do much for. Her. So, you know, it's just a lot going on, man. But I definitely wanted to pay homage to this young lady. She definitely a Baltimore legend. Like if you from the city, you definitely know about K Swift. Like her name was just on the radio all the time. You know, K Swift and Squirrel Wide. You know, they did their thing for the city, man. And they really put on. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this story, man. Rest in peace, K-Swift. I'm going to say that 10 times, man, because we lost a great one with this, man. Y'all leave y'all comments below. If you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. Family, y'all already know what it is. If you want to support, man, check out the links in the description. Do what you got to do. Buy you a t-shirt. Everything is appreciated. Be sure to share these videos, man. It's the Baltimore way. We're going to keep this series pushing. I love y'all fam. I'm out.